Hi, my name is Dex and today we'll be looking into how we can actually manage stock received from our supplies using consignment. So consignment actually means that the stock is placed in your shop but your supplier will only bill you when you actually sell those items to your customer. So if those items are unsold, you are able to return these items to your supplier without paying for it. So today we'll be looking at how we can actually manage consignment items taken from your suppliers inside AutoCount. So to do this, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have that module. You can come here to tools here. You can come to program control, module setting. All right. So let's look for consignment. All right. Uh, where's my consignment here? All right. So for premium model uh, modules, there will be consignment free. If it's underneath here, then you need to purchase for that module. All right. Okay. So once that's done, now let's say how we can actually do this. So once that module is turned on, you can come here to purchase. Here we have one called purchase consignment and purchase consignment return. So let's say your supplier sends you some stock. So we come to purchase consignment. New. We can select our supplier, say okay, B company. And let's say we are receiving some consignment stock, say for example for Oral B Oral B to brush. Alright. So let's say we want maybe 100 pieces and then we save it. Alright. Alright, so now we got Oral B to brush. So let's go to our stock here. So technically speaking, these are not your stock items yet because they only put it in your shop on a consignment basis. So let's look at my consignment, whether or not it's impacting it here. So you can see to brush or B is still zero. All right. Okay. So then how are you going to sell those items? So you come here to sales, you come to invoice, we will come to new. And let's say, for example, we come to select our customer, say tax, and then we press plus. So from here, what happens is, let's say we want to look for the toothbrush. So let's make it a bit wider. So if you can look here. So once I select toothbrush or B, my quantity on hand is actually, uh, all my quantity that owns by me is zero, but I have a consignment stock of 100. So on hand, I left 100. So I can click here and I can say, I'm going to purchase the item one unit and I press save. Okay. So you can sell the item. So what happens is once you actually sold the item, usually by the month end, the supplier will come over to your place. Then they say, okay, you have sold one unit. Now I'm going to bill you. So all we just need to do is we come here to purchase. We come to purchase invoice. We press new. So just now our supplier was B. If I'm not mistaken, so B transfer. So now there's one called transfer from purchase consignment. All right. So here you can see it. Okay. There's hundred pieces in my shop. I only sold one. So I put here one, I press okay. All the information will then come in here. So of course we just put your DO number and invoice number and we press save. Okay. So then let's say example. Now I do not want to sell this item anymore. I want to return all the stock items to your supplier. So we come here, purchases. We come to purchase consignment return. Click here. And then let's say example, press new again. We can select our supplier. Say B. And instead of just transferring, we press here. Transfer from tra purchase consignment. Okay, now you can see there's 99 pieces. I want to return back everything to them. Okay. Then you can press save and you're done. So then after that, now your supplier won't bill you for the 99 pieces. So this is actually how easy it is to manage consignment items received inside AutoCount. Do like and subscribe to help us reach more people. Thanks.